Well, that leaves us with two track finals to come. First of all, the women's 4x400 four metres. We've already seen some fantastic wins for Germany in both of the 4x1s and smashing championship records along the way, which is extraordinary stuff. As we take a look at uh, who's in this lineup for the 4x4 four four to end this competition. So Spain, who've had a brilliant championships go on the outside. 400 metre hurdles, silver medalist Gallego set a national record. She's in this for them. It was a Czech 1-2 individually and Vondrova and Malikova return. Germany have brought in the individual finalist Mona Maya for this. And she'll bring them home. France, Lacoste will go off for them. That's their one change. And then the heptathlete Maraval, Seri and Grebo. So Poland always so strong over the 4x4 four four European senior champions, of course. They've won three out of the last four editions. And then uh, Italy had three women in the 400 individually. And Eloisa Coiro, the 800 silver medalist, has joined them. 800 meter champion was Isabel Boffy. She comes in on the last leg for Britain and a swap with their two heptathletes. Holly Mills comes in for Jado Dowder, which is interesting. And then two individual medalists for Switzerland, Silke Lemons, who took nearly a second off her lifetime best and took bronze. And then in the four hurdles, Yasmin Giga got the same color. In fact, Eight out of 32 athletes in this final have already won medals at these championships across four events, including all of those from the individual one-lap race. So Switzerland, Britain, Italy, Poland, France, Germany, the Czechs and the Spaniards on the outside. Well, it's up to these athletes now to feed off the adrenaline, work for each other, produce their best in the gruelling challenge of the 400 metres at the end of four long days of action at these European Athletics under 23 championships even. So Spain on the outside as we wait for the stagger to unwind on the second leg. And they should have a good end to this race with Garcia and Gallego both doing well in the 400 hurdles final. But really interesting that the Czechs have chosen to start off strongly with Lada Vondrova, who's just beaten in the 400 two years ago by Kasmarek of Poland. But this time she hung on right to the line and won gold for her country. And they've added more medals today. So she hands over to Yikova, who was a finalist in the four hurdles. In fact, lots of hurdlers getting action in the relay, just as we saw in the heats earlier on. So big, big lead for the Czech Republic. And now it's a question of whether they can hang on. So France and Germany, part of that chasing pack, as you can see. As the sun's still out here in Tallinn. Great conditions, huge contrast to what we saw on the opening morning, which is brilliant to see. So the Czechs and the French, and then Poland, Battling in behind, all the way back to uh, Switzerland and Britain, pretty tight there, outside contenders for medals. But out front you can see a bit of a break now as they're all rather more separated out. Polish in fourth place behind Germany, the Czech Republic and France. So Seri has received the baton from the heptathlete Maraval and the French team, one of the loudest in the stadium. They've been tapping the advertising hoardings throughout the competition, like we saw in the triple jump where they got two medals. And they could be on for another pair across the two 4x4 four four finals. So still France, Czech Republic and Germany with those reasonably big gaps. And Poland now starting to feature Lazowska coming through, really nice end to the leg. She saves something 
For that last part down the home straight, a fall of an incoming runner there. I think that might have been Holly Mills. With Britain back in sixth place. And then Italy just in front of them. But perhaps these four will decide the medals. Maybe Isabel Boffi, who was so strong in the 800, can try and close that gap. But at this point, France still leading with Shana Grebo. And Poland with Gatska, sixth in the 400. Trying to do what Natalia Kazmarek did two years ago and win right at the end of the race. But look at this, Germany also fighting. And the Czechs with Malikova. Goodness me, Malikova for the Czech Republic coming through to win it right at the end. And through on Grebo of France and beating Gatska of Poland. My goodness me. Well, the Czech quartet did something so interesting. They had their fastest runner on the first leg, built a great lead. Then they relinquished it and right at the end they came back through and into the gold medal position. So 3.30 the time there for, well a Czech quartet that two of them have uh, smashed their lifetime bests through the competition in individual events. National under-23 record for France as well. We brought in uh, Sokna Lacoste, who was the French champion last year, to try and improve their speed. Well, glad to say that uh, rather more teams, as expected, have finished the 4x4s compared to in the 4x1. I think we had just four teams finishing the women's 4x100 metres. But it's been such... A long few days of competition and finally the sun comes out. So many medals of course, 15 sets being decided today. And great that we could bring you so much coverage. And we'll do it all again of course at the European under 20s but well, Phil, we're both starting to lose our voices at the end of this We are a little bit. We've been doing, what is it, about uh, nine hours of commentary a day. But it's still not all over because we've still got the javelin going on in the background. I think we're coming up to the concluding throws in the last round of the javelin. But that was just an absolutely thrilling way to finish the track event. I have to say, I thought the writing was on the wall. I really am not being clever after the event when they swapped and changed around their quartet. I thought that was very astute work by the Czech team management to put Vondrova on the lead-off leg. Then they had their two other runners, Jikova and Vesler. Great runners in themselves. Well, it's one of the British team. And if you saw some of the races of Barbora Malikova, well, in the individual 400 metres, she's always such a fast finisher. She nearly overhauled Vondrova in the individual 400 metres. And it was just perfect for her. She just tucked in behind the three women in front of her from France, Portugal, and Portugal, Poland, and G I am losing my voice, and Germany, from France, Poland, and Germany. And then just sped past them. She's got such a great turn of speed at the end of 400 metres. And the Czech Republic, well... That's their third gold medal of these championships. Two of them, well, two of them coming today. And also Lada Vondrova. Delight for the Czech Republic. Well, they've had some great success with the men's events in the past. You just think about Pavel Maslak leading them home on occasions in the Czech senior team. But four by four success with the women's team has been a bit of a rarity in the past. But it's all the sweeter when it comes along. Well, Great Britain and Northern Ireland run out of this relay. They've had successes in the past, not on this occasion. I'm just wondering whether it's such a wise idea putting Isabel Boffy on the anchor lead. 